Fortnite OG is returning this December bigger than ever. After the final live event of Fortnite Remix Chapter 2, where we will see Ice Spice, Eminem and Snoop Dogg perform live as giants, much like the Travis Scott event of Chapter 2 Season 2, we will then be entering Chapter 6, which is where we will be also getting the return of Fortnite OG as a permanent game mode, which will have all the Chapter 1 seasons, which will be rotating monthly, taking us all the way up to September 2025 at Season X with the OG loot pool and OG pill eyes. That means, guys, that the tweet Fortnite released on December the 2nd, 2023, saying, not gonna lie, the OG season far exceeded our expectations so much that we'd like to bring it back. Guys, this was not referring to Fortnite Remix Chapter 2 that we just got. That was a bonus. Guys, they was working on bringing Fortnite OG back for 10 months straight, guys, with each month being a different season. That's kicking off December with Chapter 1, Season 1, where it all began in 2017. So expect to see the iconic, nostalgic peer wise such as Anarchy Acres, Fatal Fields, Moist Meyer, and of course, the Prism Return, with the OG loot pool and hopefully even the return of the Zapatron Trap. So guys, this will be a game mode. There will still be Chapter 6, Season 1, which will obviously be the Japanese theme, bringing traditional Japanese peer-wise to the game and maybe even a Japanese-style loot pool. There's samurai-style, Japanese-style skins that have also been leaked. So then into January, we'll be getting Season 2, guys. Obviously, this was where the Battle Pass was first added with the 70-tier Battle Pass, which also brought Haunted Hills and Snobby Shores to the game. And then obviously going into February, we have season three guys, obviously that was the astronaut theme season with the first meteor sightings and it also brought us lucky landing. And then obviously in the March, we're going to be going into season four, which brought Dusty Divot to the game with obviously the hot rock consumables. And this is where the first storyline hints, you know, with the rocket being built and launched later in that season. And then obviously April, we're going to be going into the season five, which is where the visitor launched a rocket that caused the dimensional rifts in the sky rift portals were introduced to the game for quick transport and also paradise palms and lazy links golf course was added and then in the may we're going into season six which was the halloween themed season obviously this brought shadow stones to the game which let players turn into ghosts to move faster and become invisible pets were introduced and kevin the cube lifted the island in loot lake creating a floating area and then going into June, we have Season 7, which added the snow biome to the game. Obviously, Frosty Flights, Polar Peak, Happy Hamlet, and the X4 Stormwing Planes, which could allow players to obviously fly in the sky, adding a new layer of gameplay. Creative mode was also introduced. And, of course, we had a powerful melee weapon, the Infinity Blade. And then going into July, guys, we got Season 8, which was the pirate theme season, adding Lazy Lagoon and the Volcano to the map. Also brought the Hamster Ball-style vehicle, the Baller and the grappling hook and then guys going into august was season nine we got the futuristic theme high tech skins and cyberpunk styles cosmetics introduced and also neo tilted and mega mal which replaced the tilted towers and retail road we've got the slip streams wind tunnels fast travel across the map and then also we have the fort bites introduced which were collectible items scattered across the map unlocking hidden rewards and story hints and then finally september will be season x which was the time walk theme a mix of old and new locations revisiting previous points in fortnite's history with the rift zones which brought back old pillars like dusty depot and also gotham city and then of course everyone's favorite we had the brute mechs so guys, is this a good idea for Fortnite to bring Fortnite OG back for 10 months? Will this make Fortnite rise or fall? Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. I personally think it's a good idea, but I feel like not many players will be playing Chapter 6 for the Chapter 6 seasons. They'll be playing Chapter 6 to play Fortnite OG, guys. But do remember, guys, that I gift 5 subscribers something brand new from the Fortnite item shop every single day. So if that's something you guys are interested in, then please comment down below your Epic Games name so I can go ahead and give you a comment heart. And also, guys, do remember to go ahead and use code OMFG, hashtag Epic Partner in the Fortnite item shop, as it does help me out a bunch, guys. And do remember, guys, to go ahead and join my Discord channel and post an image of you guys using my supporter creator code in the hashtag item shop supporters section so you guys can be entered into any future giveaways. Hope this video helped you out guys and see you in the next one.